There are some facts I want you to memorize about strong electrolytes, weak electrolytes, and non-electrolytes. Number one, if a substance can produce ions when dissolved in water, it is called an electrolyte. Otherwise, it is called a non-electrolyte. Number two, strong electrolytes will dissociate completely or nearly completely into ions when dissolved in water. You may wonder, Dr. H, what do you mean dissociate? As we have learned in class, a cation and an anion can come together to form a neutral compound. Dissociate means the cation and the anion will become separated to form free ions. Number three, when dissolved in water, only a small percentage of the molecules of a weak electrolyte will dissociate to form ions. Most of the weak electrolyte molecules will remain in molecular forms. Number four, when dissolved in water, none of the molecules of a non-electrolyte will dissociate to form ions. Number five, all soluble ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. Number six, most molecular compounds are non-electrolytes. There are some molecular compounds are not non-electrolytes. They are listed in number seven and number eight. Some common strong electrolytes that are molecular compounds. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroidic acid, perchloric acid, chloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. As we can see here, the common strong electrolytes that are molecular compounds are strong acids. Number eight, some common weak electrolytes that are molecular compounds, acetic acid, ammonia. Acetic acid is weak acid, ammonia is a weak base. To answer some of the problems in table four, you have to remember all of these facts if you don't remember all of them or some of them, you cannot solve all the problems in chapter 4.